today we're going to study properties of addition. Did you know that the words race car and kayak are palindromes? Whether you read them left to right or right to left, they read the same. Gina is a kayak member. In the kayak club, there are 8 official members and 7 more members as substitutes. How many members are there in all? Let us try to solve the problem. To find the sum, we can either write 8 plus 7 or 7 plus 8. Let us solve first 8 plus 7. In adding numbers, we're going to start at the big number, then we're going to count forward until we reach the 7th number. So let's add 8 and 7. 8 on your mind. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So 8 plus 7 equals 15. So let's proceed now to the second number, 7 plus 8. So 7 on your mind, 7, then count forward until you reach the 8th number. 7 on your mind, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So we have here 15. As you can see, their sums are the same. So that means 8 plus 7 is equal to 7 plus 8. This illustrates that commutative property. Commutative property of addition states that changing the position or the order of the addends does not affect the sum. So when you say addends children, those are the numbers that you added. Again, commutative property of addition change Changing the position or the order of the addends does not affect the sum. For example, you have 3 plus 2 is equal to 2 plus 3. Because 3 plus 2 is equal to, that's correct, 5. And 2 plus 3 is equal to, very good, that's also 5. So 5 is equal to 5. This is commutative property of addition. How about if we have this? 4 plus 2 plus 5. How many addends are there? As you can see, we have 3 addends. So we can find the sum of this one by grouping the addends. So the addends can be grouped in two ways. In the first one, we have the sum of 4 and 2 plus 5. And on the second one, we have 4 plus the sum of 2 and 5. So let's add first the equation on the left side. In able to solve this one, you're going to add first the number inside the parentheses. So 4 plus 2, 4 on your mind children, 4, 5, 6. We have 6 here. Then add the remaining number. 6 plus 5, 6 on your mind, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We have 11 here. So that means the sum of 4 and 2 plus 5 is equal to 11. Let's proceed now to the second equation on the right side. Again, we're going to start adding at the number inside the parentheses. 2 plus 5, 5 on your mind, 5, 6, 7. We have 7 here. Then add 4. 4 plus 7, 7 in your mind, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We have 11 here. So that means 4 plus the sum of 2 and 5 is equal to 11. So as you can see children, the sum of 4 and 2 plus 5 is equal to 4 plus the sum of 2 and 5. 
This means that the equation show that a change in the grouping of the addends does not affect the sum. So this is called the associative property of addition. So when you say associative property of addition, it states that changing the grouping, grouping is the parenthesis of the addends does not affect the sum. Again, associative property of addition states that changing the grouping of the addends does not affect the sum. For example, we have the sum of 1 and 2 plus 3 is equal to 1 plus the sum of 2 and 3. So let's add first the number inside the parentheses. 1 plus 2 is equal to, that's correct, 3. Then add the remaining 3. 3 plus 3 equals, very good, that is 6. Let's proceed to the second number. 2 plus 3, very good, that's 5. Then add 1, 1 plus 5 is equal to 6. So that means the sum of 1 and 2 plus 3 is equal to 1 plus the sum of 2 and 3. They are both equals to 6. So this is what you call the associative property of what addition. You to observe the following numbers. What do you notice? So when you add 0 to any number, the sum is always that number. So this property is what you call the identity property. So, 0 is the identity element of addition. So, when you say identity property of addition, it states that when a number is added to 0, the sum is the number itself. Again, identity property of addition states that when a number add, is added to 0, the sum is the number itself. So let's have an example. For example, you have 100 plus 0, that is equals to 100. Is that clear? Yep. We studied three properties of addition. We have commutative property, associative property, and identity property. When we say commutative property, children, it states that changing the position or the order of the addends does not affect the sum. Associative property states that changing the grouping of the addends does not affect the sum. And identity property, when a number is added to zero, the sum is the number itself. So this is the three properties of addition. So now, I want you to get your drill board faster. Using your drill board, I want you to identify the property of addition shown. Write identity, commutative, and associative. Are you ready? Okay, so let's begin. If you have 5 plus 2 is equal to 2 plus 5, what property of addition is shown? Timer starts now. Time's up. Okay, what property of addition is shown? Very good! That is commutative property. How about if we have this? 9 plus 0 is equal to 9. Timer starts now. Time's up! So what property of addition is shown? Fantastic! It's 
identity property. How about if we have this one? 0 plus 20 is equal to 20. Timer starts now. Time's up. So what is the answer? Very good! It's identity property. Always remember, children, any number that you added to zero, the sum is the number itself. That is identity property. How about if we have this? The sum of 3 and 10 plus 5 is equal to 3 plus the sum of 10 and 5. Timer starts now. Time's up. So what is the answer? Good job! It's associative property. Always remember, associative property states that changing the grouping of the addends does not affect the sum. How about if you have this? 7 plus 10 is equal to 10 plus 7. Timer starts now. Time's up. So what is the answer? Amazing! It's commutative property. Always remember, children, commutative property, changing the position or the order of the addends does not affect the sum. So what have we learned? So we learned the three properties of addition. We have commutative property, associative property, and identity property. Commutative property, changing the position or the orders of the addends does not affect the sum. Associative property, changing the grouping of the addends does not affect the sum. And lastly, identity property, when a number is added to zero, the sum is the number itself. So this is the three properties of addition.